Hello, welcome. My name is Pat Furman and I'm the director of Inspired by Wonder Child Care Center in Winnipeg, Manitoba. This is my capstone project on reducing plastics in the ocean. One of our centers is located in the Sky Center, which stands for Specialized Services for Children and Youth. The group I chose to implement my project with is our Spruce Room. This group is eight four to five year old children who have it and one who has additional support needs. This group has shown a deep interest in construction and the removal of waste and they have been very interested in what is going into our garbage. We ended up discussing plastics and how many plastic materials end up in our garbage and then in our oceans. I found this great book called Join the No Plastic Challenge a first book of reducing waste by Scott Ritchie. This book offered practical ways to explain what plastics are, how we can reduce, reuse, and recycle our plastics, and other strategies to help eliminate our waste. We talked about what plastics are, how they can hurt the earth. We did a scavenger hunt around our center. I asked the children to find various types of plastics. The children picked up toys, pointed out equipment such as walkers and tumble form chairs, and how we store our art materials in reusable plastic containers. On occasion, the children picked up an object that was made out of wood or metal. We spent some time identifying and classifying plastics. We found a lot of one-time only plastics in our kitchen, such as vinyl gloves, Ziploc bags, and plastic grocery bags. I gathered all the children in our program in the gym. The children were very worried about the animals and the birds in our oceans and on the beaches. We talked about what examples of one-time plastics are. We discussed strategies such as reduce, reuse, and recycle. The children developed the attitude of responsibility by wanting to take care of the animals in the ocean. The children were making connections about how we dispose our waste locally and how it ends up in our garbage globally. At our next meeting with the children, I showed them photographs from three different National Geographic magazines. One picture was of baby turtles after being born on the beach, trying to head back to the ocean but how they were not able to get back to the water because of the plastic debris in their way. The children developed knowledge about types of wildlife in the ocean and on the beaches. We went upstairs within our building that has a prosthetics and orthopedic area. This was an exciting elevator ride up as we looked at a cabinet full of long-term plastics that help people who have no arms or legs or who need special shoes or devices to walk. We peered into the wood working window to see the machines and how they make good use of these plastics. This visual helped the children remember that not all plastics are bad or harmful. The following week, we did an activity by painting a large watercolor canvas of an ocean. We talked about some plastic items that we remembered seeing in the ocean, such as the one-time only plastics, like gloves, straws, cap bottles, or water bottles. And we glued these items after exploring them onto our picture. We reviewed different strategies of how to reduce, reuse, and recycle. I wrote these messages on cardstock and each child in my group chose to tell a message. The children developed a problem solving skill by coming up with ideas of how to reduce plastics. We displayed our finished artwork in the hall along with the messages and pictures of what plastics can do to the ocean. We asked our families and educators to commit to changing one thing in their lives to reduce, reuse, or recycle plastics. We created a hashtag called hashtag one small change, one big difference and posted the children's comments, strategies, and suggestions to our social media accounts and asked the public to committing to making one small change. This project has 
impacted the children. One parent shared with me a story about how they had gone to a restaurant and the child noted that there was a one-time only plastic straw in his cup of juice. As a mother of three young children, this project has impacted my personal life as well. I am so conscientious about the level of waste through my house. I have always recycled and grown a garden yearly. We have a rain barrel and a compost. After participating in this project, I'm much more conscious about bringing reusable bags to the grocery store, buying more products in bulk, and I have recently purchased more food containers and beeswax sheets for food storage. Making small and simple changes can have a huge impact. As the director of this program, I have the authority and the responsibility to implement changes within our program. These are little gestures, but we do know that this one small change can make one big difference. Thank you.